Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about thyroid and how this can impact your weight loss, your results, and to really get a good picture of how this journey can go. Now you may have something going on with your thyroid, maybe you're somebody who's gotten their thyroid tested a bunch of times just to be told, mm, it's normal. Yeah, we don't say anything wrong. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I've had my thyroid tested at least half a dozen times in the past 10 years why is there nothing wrong with it yet i feel exhausted i feel like i have weight gain i can't lose weight i have all these other symptoms that are totally associated with thyroid what is it now it could be thyroid right it could be thyroid syndrome where you have all the symptoms but your thyroid numbers are normal we'll talk about some of those things here it could be adrenals right you can have adrenal issues and it mimics thyroid so you get stuck on this thyroid path when it's really not thyroid now if you have questions on this um, you can always reach out to me, but a great place to start is right here in the comments. I'm putting the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. We work on everything, nutrition, hormones, um, really creating the right customized protocol to you to not only get you the right results, but so that you keep the right results and you stop struggling. But when we look at thyroid, there's a few things to understand. Overall, thyroid is in charge of your metabolism in general, right? This is one of the things. There's, there's several things that are going to be contributing factors to your metabolism. Thyroid's a big one, a big one, right? Now, here are the things that also impact thyroid. Mm, this is fun, right? Cortisol, cortisol. This is your stress. Anybody else feel like they've been under more stress this year than ever before? Ah! This means if you feel like you've maybe had thyroid issues before or you're like, gosh, I feel like my thyroid's gotten worse, it can get worse because you're under more stress. That's a thing. So make sure you're going back in. Make sure you check in with your primary you know, health, health practitioner to say, hey, I, pff, I've been under a crap ton of stress. I've not been feeling good. Can we run my thyroid panel again? Right? You have to be your own health advocate here because stress, that extra cortisol, can impact how well your body creates and converts the right thyroid hormone for your body to use. Right? I've done other videos on this talking more about the details of thyroid hormone. That's on my YouTube channel, which is just Dr. Beth Westy. You can search for those there. But the thing I wanted to get across is that if you feel like something's going on, make sure you're diving into it. Right? Because it's not in your head. The stress people are under right now is real. It's very, very real and it has a big impact on our bodies and systems. The next piece here is estrogen. Now again, these kind of all go together. If your estrogen levels are off, this also will impact how well your body is converting the right thyroid hormone for your system to use, actually doing the thing that thyroid is supposed to do in your body. Does cortisol also affect estrogen? Yes, it does. Why, yes, it does. It does all of it. Oh, that's so great. Mm. Anybody else getting more stressed out just hearing about this? Ha! Ah, I know, I know, right? So, mm -hmm, cortisol, yep, it can do it. Oh, estrogen too. Oh, yep, that impacts the thyroid. Oh, good, mm, good to know. <gasps> this means if you've been on a birth control, come off of a birth control, have you know irregular cycles now, um, yeah, this can impact thyroid as well. Another big piece here is minerals, Miner minerals, other nutrients. Um, this has a big factor and again, how well thyroid gets used in your system, right? So there's a lot of different factors here with thyroid, a lot of different factors. But the biggest thing I want you to understand is that there are a lot of things that you can do to work with your body and system to help this function better. Um, now, for me personally, I've had thyroid issues in the past. I had thyroid issues after each one of my pregnancies. Not fun, not fun. But I was able to really work with the right herbs, the right nutrition tactics to get it back on track for me. And I haven't had a thyroid issue in, oh, eight years now? Eight, no, almost nine, no, almost nine years. Almost nine years, coming on nine years, yeah. So, does this mean that I'll never have issues again? No, it just means that I have to be diligent on doing the things that I can need to do to take care of my body and system. But again, these are all things that we work on in the 12 week challenge. These are all things that I will help guide you through. The right nutrition for your body and system, the right things to help all these things line up for you so that your thyroid can work the best that it can, right? Again, without the right tactics, you're, you're gonna be spinning your wheels trying to oh, cut down more calories or take other things out and just continue to be exhausted. 
But once you get the right things in your system, it's amazing how quick, how fast these things unfold in the right direction. So again, get on the wait list. That link is there in the comments. Um, if you've got questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I also have a podcast called The Female Health Solution. Um, this is a great resource for you as well as my books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon. Tons of resources here, all talking about nutrition that matches hormones and the cycle. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions or if somebody else can use this information, please share it with them. I mean, the more women know and understand about how their bodies work and function, the better we can do to help move things forward. And again, make sure you're getting on the 12 week challenge. The next 12 week challenge that I have coming up, registration um, opens and it only opens to the wait list. It is exclusive to the wait list. It opens in mid-December, and though we do cap out usually about 24 hours after that wait list is opened. So it is pretty exclusive. We can only take so many. Dr. Victoria and I work really closely with everybody in the 12 week challenge, and I wanna make sure if you want a spot that you get a spot. So let me know if you need anything else. Otherwise, I will see you guys later.